so suppose uh, this is your company so now you have two routers so you have core switches then you have access switches and then you have computers so all these computers connect together so all these access switches connected to the core both switches okay so these are called core switches these are called access switches okay so these are called computers which are called end device okay and these are routers then connected to the routers between these four devices we need to share information with each other here we run osp if it is a very small network so after that if you connected to isp okay here so maybe this is airtel so here you run maybe bgp and another side maybe you have jio uh, any other company and you are using normal default route this is you are running bgp this is your internet connection both are your internet connection so now you have a branch maybe in mumbai they have the same model one two routers two switches and then there are some computers it's not a very big branch so maybe simply switches are connected with the two routers and you have private connection okay or over the internet because this branch also have taken the internet from airtel or okay or maybe from any is it's not mandatory to take internet from airtel you can take internet from any company suppose we have taken that connection from tata okay and over the back end tata and airtel also part of what internet yeah so now what you want your ospf network will connect with this ospf network over the internet over the internet and this technology is called vpn okay so you can run ospf here you can put all these devices in area 0 you can add all these branch routers in area maybe one okay maybe you have another office and that office also have some routers which is computers printers so that routers are also connected with isps okay and these isps are somehow connected and you can also create a vpn tunnel from this router to this router and once you connect the vpn which is called site to site vpn so jab aapne ek bar vpn mein jod liya once you create the vpn connection from your head office to branch office then it is your choice how you will share this computer how they will communicate with these computers with these computers so you can run ospf in internal network only you can run over the internet with vpn but without vpns you cannot run os okay the another thing here you do not want on internet you can take mpls link which is private connection very cost you can connect direct mpls mpls is also a connection but not internet it is just a dedicated connection so that your router connect with head office and branch office. because internet is not secure that's why companies use mpls or this technology for secure transfer and better reliability because on internet you can't rely but on this dedicated connection you can this is good for application just imagine if you have head office and a very powerful server which is like your company email server so all employee email ids are working because of this email server if you lost connection with head office you can't even send email so that's the reason maybe companies do not depend on internet they go for this mpls connectivity